We live in a chemical world, and it's all basically rooted in petroleum. But petroleum has problems. There's not as much as there was. Burning petroleum is contributing to climate change. And while we've been incredibly creative as a species with trying to find ways to take the single molecule and turn it into you know, $3 trillion, $4 trillion of product that goes into everything we consume, there must be a better way. That's a microbe. This microbe is the most perfect chemical factory in the world. This little single cell thing can consume a carbon source, glucose, sugar, but also waste gas, and it can convert it into any one of the chemicals that that chemical plant turns it into. In fact, it can turn it into two to three times as many different chemicals. So why don't we use this? Why do we use chemicals, why do we use petroleum rather, when we could be using these microbes? Well, it turns out they're incredibly hard to engineer. All of this is governed by the source code of life, DNA. The DNA has all these letters, right? These letters, each one, GTCA, represents a, a base pair. These microbes will have between four and 30 million base pairs of DNA. All of the letters on there would represent about one half of 1% of that. It's a lot of letters, and there are tons of ways of putting that together. But we don't really know how to read it and we definitely don't know how to write it. Most folks have tried to solve this problem with the conventional approach. So this is scientists standing in a bench, testing ideas by hand. We've learned an enormous amount from this basic approach, but it has problems when you're trying to solve problems as complicated as how to take that DNA source code and cellular metabolism. At Zymergen, instead of having scientists testing ideas, we use robots and algorithms to basically test every idea. And so instead of trying to bring a very hypothesis-driven approach to the world, we bring a data-driven machine learning approach to the world. When you use automation, you don't make as many errors, you try more ideas, and that's how we can create products that are better than the ones we make in conventional chemistry. We can massively disrupt both the chemicals industry and therefore the economics of oil more broadly. So there's a huge positive impact on things like climate change. And we can make lives better.